I really hope he's watching this. Like, I really do hope he, like, comes across this video. Oh, I don't want to cry. No, don't come out. Don't come out. Don't come out. Don't come out. Hey, y'all. What's good? What's your pop? And welcome back to my channel. And I know it's been a while, but... I decided to come at y'all today with a more personal subject um like there's not really much to say without actually getting into the story but basically today's video is gonna be a story time and so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into this bit all right y'all before i did y'all before i start this video make sure you guys are following me on twitter instagram and shonat's chat shonat y'all follow me at what the fuck ever it's gonna be down in the description as well so y'all i really don't know where to start with this but it's been bothering me my whole life and i feel like they're doing me some justice to you know sit down and talk about it let the shit out Whatever. I'm a big crybaby, so don't mind me if I get emotional. Because I might. This is, it's a very sensitive topic. But, I gotta talk about it. That's a lot. Okay, let's go back to when I was 14. So, y'all. My little ugly. Always getting into shit as a child. And there was this one day, I remember it like the back of my hand. Like, there was this one day that i went through my mom's room or whatever my mom's very open like she's always been very open with me except for when it came to this specific topic i didn't know i had a different dad up until a different donor i didn't know i had a donor up until um up until i was 14. so anyway let's get back to i was in her room i was looking at my baby book or whatever and like i always looked in my baby book but i never noticed that there was a whole ass letter from my sperm donors mom so i got to reading it and i wish i would have kept the letter like i don't know what i was thinking i don't even know what happened to the letter it just boom just disappeared so i was reading the letter and it, it was like a whole bunch of um oh congratulations on the baby i hope you got his mom sent me sent my mom one outfit when I was born so in the letter she was like I hope you got the outfit um this that and the third and um I hope y'all are doing okay and you know stuff like that I can't vividly remember exactly what was said but it was you know stuff of that nature but after that uh my mom said she didn't hear from them no more mind you they're in California they're still in California they were in California at the time my mom received the letter whatever I really don't think to this day I've gotten the full story because nobody wants to like I don't know if people just don't want to hurt my feelings or I mean my feelings already hurt but it's whatever like I'm 22 now I'd like to think I got over it but in reality I maybe you know haven't but whatever we're not even gonna get into that but anyway so yeah, I read the letter, blah blah blah, and I asked my mom about it. I was like, Mama, what's this? Like who who is this lady? Like what's she talking about? Whatever. So then that day I remember she told me, she was like, you know, you have a different father and that I don't remember y'all, I was fourteen. I really don't remember how the conversation went. I just remember like being so shocked, like the book. And don't don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and you know, act like I just grew up without a dad because I have an amazing dad. Like he's my stepdad but he's raised me since i was nine months old like he's amazing he did everything for me so it's not like i was fatherless but anyway yeah she told me she was like you know you have a different dad blah 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 and mind you my mom at the time she had two other kids besides me so it was my brother after me joel and my brother after him Juan. so it was just us three at the time so i mean i never questioned being different or whatever obviously i was a different shade than them my mom's hispanic so um they were a lot lighter than me i was the darkest one i'm the oldest blah blah, blah. but anyway i never suspected like you know that i would have a um a different a donor i just the subject really irritates me but i feel like i need to talk about it so yeah so after that day, I didn't really um, talk about it no more. I didn't really ask questions. I didn't care to look into who he was. But I did want to know who he was. I just wanted to wait till I was of age to where, you know, I could 
fully understand what was going on and so I did that um after that happened after that day um nothing was different I didn't question her I do remember being more on the rebellious side like I started being bad in school and I started being you know hanging around with the wrong people I ran away from home um it, it was just a lot going on like it, it was a really horrible time like that whole 14 year it, it was just bad but I didn't want to talk about it whatever <laughs> so fast forward I had a whole last child I was 18 um, when I had him yes so a year after I had Damani um, I decided to reach out like you know try to see if this nigga cared you know to talk about me I was um one day I just I just got the urge really out of nowhere I was like I'm gonna find this this man like I'm gonna find him so one day I was at Damani's grandma's house on his other side and his aunt was sitting in the living room with me his aunt was in the living room with me and I was just like yo like help me find this man so I gave her um, the information that I had which was her name and her last phone no I didn't even have a phone number it was just her name like we were just searching her name and I knew his name of course so I don't, I don't even know where she found it but she was like yo like I found a number so I was like okay so I called the number she hung up she um she forwarded my call called again my calls rejected I called a good four or five times before somebody actually picked up the phone and then when she did pick up the phone she sounded irritated because I mean obviously somebody from San Antonio been blowing up her phone she all the way in California like who the fuck was calling her so she was like hello and I was like hi is I don't know if I should say his name I was like hi is Sean there and she was like who's this and so I told her and it kind of hurt me because she knew who I was but she didn't like gave me the reaction that I wanted she was just like yeah hold on and I was like okay and so I heard her in the background she was like Sean um she said my first name I don't want to say my first name on video but she was like Sean uh she's on the phone whatever and it was just like two minutes of silence that's all I remember it was just two minutes of silence and I'm you know my blood is rushing I'm like yo like I I finally found this nigga like I'm finna go off like I just I, I didn't I didn't know what to feel. I didn't know if I, I wanted to be nice to him or if I wanted to just go off as soon as he got on the phone. Like, I just didn't know what to feel. So, my emotional ass, like, as soon as he gets on the phone, I start crying. Like, I was just crying, crying, crying. And this nigga, like, he was just, the first words out of his mouth, he was just like, how have you been? Nigga. At the time, okay, let's, let's, let's go backwards. At the time, I'm 20 now, okay and he was just like how have you been i'm just like i've been good you know whatever so i stopped crying because like no before that he was just like why are you crying like man you're gonna ask me why am i crying like i'm a whole last 20 year old you know grew up without you mom did it but she did it by herself Till she, you know, met my dad. And when I say my dad, I'm talking about my stepdad, but that's my dad, fam. Like, you'll, dad, donor. Boom. So, um, yeah, she had my dad. So, anyway, he was just like, why are you crying? And I'm like, what do you mean, why am I crying? Like, I, I don't, I don't know you. Like, I've only, I've seen two pictures of him. Whole life, seen two pictures of him. And, you know, I was just telling him how I felt about it. I was just like, yo, like you know where where are you why why did you leave like you know typical questions that you're gonna ask when you find out you know who the fuck i don't even know what to say i'm fidgeting y'all because it, it, it's it's just it's just like i don't know i didn't expect that kind of reaction like why are you crying how are you like he was just so nonchalant like literally when i was like you know i was telling him who i was just to reassure him just in case you know she didn't rely the message correctly because she had already answered the phone rule so i was just like you know i'm such and such blah 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 and he was just like oh how are you like it was just so i don't know whatever so that happened and then me and him like we um talked a little bit more after that he was just like i want you to come visit yada 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 
uh, we were emailing for some time because for whatever reason he couldn't text me, he couldn't call me. It was some, it was always some type of excuse. So we were emailing, and I just remember this one day, like I was just like, "Fuck it, like you weren't there for me, like you finna hear my mouth, like you finna know how I felt." So I sent him this long ass email. I was like, "Yo, like you don't give a fuck about me, like this and the third and I was just going in. I'm telling him how I felt. I was just like, my mom did this all by herself. Like, we we wasn't worried about you, but you wasn't worried about your child at the same time. He has two other kids, y'all. My older brother, Joshua, and he has a younger one, Junior. And mind you, I have nothing against them. I'm like this with Joshua now that I know who he is. Like, I, we're, me and him talk like, you know, like like nothing ever happened. Because he didn't know either. I reached out to him and was like, yo, I'm your sister. But that's a whole nother story. But, um yeah so we were emailing and i just remember he sent me an email back he was just like yo i'm your dad you're not gonna talk to me like that first of all nigga you're not my dad like you're not my dad that type of thing like i was just so irritated with it so i just gave up like i just mind you we had already um exchanged a couple emails before this but this is like days prolonged so like the last day i got fed up told him how i felt he told me i shouldn't be talking to him like that because he's my dad and i was just like you know what fuck you like i don't care so i dropped it and then i called i called joshua that same day and i was just like yo like i talked to him i let him know how i felt blah 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 and this is his reaction this and the third and it was just like he, he joshua told me he was like you know i didn't know about him till i was like 14 15 and i'm like you know that so so this is normal like you you just have a kid and you just walk away that's what you do and the thing is he knew about me he knew my mama was pregnant like all of this stuff they sent the letter they did all of this stuff but you couldn't keep in contact for me nigga like it, it just bothered me like it bothered me so much and i just remember sitting there like i was on the phone with joshua i was like fam like my mom got married like you know she was happy I went I graduated high school I had a baby in high school like after high school I had a minor setback Ooh, I said I wasn't gonna cry <laughs> bitch you just did your makeup oh my god anyway so like I just remember saying like bitch I can't even talk I really hope he's watching this like i really do hope he like comes across this video oh i don't want to cry no don't come out don't come out don't come out so yeah i was just like i graduated college like without him i had a father figure like i had all that like i really wasn't missing nothing out of life it was just a simple fact nigga like you knew you knew you had a daughter and you didn't like sorry i knew it was coming like i knew i was gonna cry about it but um anyway it was like you know i graduated college i did all of this stuff without you like i'm happy now my baby's good like it was just a whole bunch of stuff like my mom never put him on child support like she never reached out to him to you know try to help with anything at all and he never reached out either so it was just like fuck it we got a child together but you know she don't need me because you got your own thing going on and it's whatever like that i'm not gonna sit here and have people feel sorry for me because i know this shit happens every day but it just hurts because now i'm dealing with my own problems my own everyday life problems and it all falls back to him like it all falls back to him like i'm gonna have to redo my makeup fuck i don't know like at the end of the day i question myself i'm like bro like why didn't he want me but um whatever like i like to think i got past it well obviously not bitch you sitting here crying about it but um yeah so that happened but i don't know man i just really hope you're watching this video and i want you to know that i'm good like i'm happy um, there's still some things I might need closure from. So hopefully I do get to speak with him again one day. I haven't spoken to him in over two years. Well, since I found out, like, who he was or whatever, after that last email, I was just like, fuck it. Like, I haven't talked to him since I graduated college. And he doesn't, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know anything about me other than the fact that I have a son. 
and I'm his. But yeah, I'm doing great. Um, that's today. <laughs> that's today's video. I'm so sorry I broke down the way I did, but you know, shit is tough for a real ass nigga. Like, real ass niggas cry sometimes, nigga. Like, it's all good. It's all good in the head. Like, I'm happy. Like, whatever. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and calm down. I'm probably gonna film a challenge video later, so I'll be back up with that. Hopefully, this video is uploaded today. Today is Thursday, April the 26th, I wanna say. But yeah, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Sean, I hope you're watching. To all my family, I love you. And thank you for the family that did stick around. And for the new ones, Joshua Jr., I love y'all too. But I'll be back later, you know, with another video. Comment down below for more stuff y'all want to see. And make sure y'all are following me on my social medias. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching.